All right, guys, welcome back. This is Pun Factor. We're going to jump into League Match 3. Um, yay for Nier, Brand. <laughs> uh, they killed us on, on turn one last game, which was just super sweet. Uh, but hopefully we don't run into that again. Whoops. I don't know what that's all about. And, uh, okay, we're on the play here. So I can get behind this. This is sweet. Uh, we actually have, let's see here. We have pieces of combos. Um, we have a payoff here. Yes, yeah, it's a very interesting hand. This, this could go could go either way if we could find you know uh, a, um, a vizier we're good to go looks like we're up against yep just basic Tron here so infinite life doesn't matter against them we want to see her for sure and that's actually perfect so let's go ahead and We're going to get screwed on not having enough white, unfortunately. Whoops. So... One, two, three, four. Perfect, or we just draw it up. But we're still screwed. Wait, let me think here. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. No, we're okay. So we go one, two for Vizier. Oh yeah, what was I even thinking? We're completely fine. Um, just cord. We'll go ahead and snag another Ranger Captain. Let's go ahead and grab the Ballista and kill him. So that went well. And what we would do next turn on their upkeep, like let's say something crazy happens on their upkeep, we'll just sack Ranger Captain. Um, they could play a Ballista. But... Probably gonna make us do this. Nope. Okay. So the infinite life combo comes out entirely. Um Knight of Autumn comes in. Collector Oof comes in.
Eldritch Evolution can come in. And why don't we bring in one path? Is there anything that we don't want? I don't really think the givers. Ah, uh, no, let's keep the givers in. Yeah, that's fine. So, Devoted Druid. We only have one mana, though. And no mana dork. So, if we hit a land, we go Druid. No, we got them all this. One land again, huh? But we do have the combo. So let's hope we hit a land. Why don't we dump Eldritch Evolution? Because we can Eternal Witness back if something dies. So let's hope we hit the land and just just get there. I'm not going to fetch this just to increase our chances of actually hitting the land. Okay. Turn three Tron all the time. Looks like we're going to lose this one, unfortunately. Let's see what their payoffs are. Karn. Take our land. Okay. land <sighs> that's rough yeah if they play anything Seed here. Yeah, it's fine. Okay, so that went well. Go back and run it back. Yeah, this will work. We need a payoff, but hopefully we can keep them off Tron. He mulligan to three cards. That hurts. So we'll definitely play a collector oof perfect 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 perfect
So we're on the Shalai Shalai plan. All right, so time to beat down here. Let's get our druid out. Let's just get, we'll get our vizier out too. I just wanna get power on the board since we don't, okay. I was gonna say, since we don't have a payoff, uh, were we gonna draw one? No, it was gonna be a while. Wow, look at that. Jeez, you draw no land and then that's all you get. What? That's ridiculous. Anyway, we got there. They mauled to three. And, and you know, it's funny. So I was at, um, I played in that MCQ and, and I think round two I played against a guy who was playing Tron. And uh, because of the London Mulligan roll, it does make that deck stronger, but it's also like it's high. It, it, it's it's a very like risky for the reward kind of situation. I don't want to say high risk, high reward, because when you're when you're mulliganing the London Mulligan roll with a deck like that, it's not like super high risk because you always get to see seven. But when you mulligan like twice and you're down to now five cards, it's it's kind of deceiving, right? Because you're getting to C7, but you have to put cards back. So my opponent, he would mull to five. Like, I think every game he mulled to five, at least. And it got to the point where his pay, he just didn't have his payoffs. Like, he was able to like, able to assemble Tron really quickly, but then he just like wouldn't have anything. Um, so that, that's definitely something that I'm seeing with like Tron players in general is because they can just maul to natural Tron. That's great. But once again, just like any other combo or ramp deck, it's like, if you don't have that payoff, very similar to our deck, if, if you don't have that payoff, it doesn't matter. Like I could sit here and make, you know, a thousand mana, but it doesn't matter if I don't have the payoff. And, um, Kind of feel like some people do run into that trap with Tron. But uh, anyway, I'm glad to be 2-1. Uh, stay tuned for League Match 4, guys. This is Punt Factor.